Welcome to Genuine Coder guys. This is the third video in the Java JavaFX uh, tr tree table view tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to make a tree table view cell editable. So what I want to do is when I double click on this column or in this cell I want to be able to change the text on this tree table view. So let's see how we can do that and this will be left off in the last section and the next thing that we have to add is the table view dot set editable so by setting it as editable we can actually do editing on each columns so the editing in the process has to be defined on a column level so i'm going to set the column one dot set cell factory the cell value factory is used for representing what kind of data is being uh, is being shown in the cell and now we can use the cell factory for uh, implementing the cell editing functionality so that's a cell factory and in the cell factory you can actually use text field table cell so text field tree table cell is the one that we want to use which is available from the java fx dot scene dot control dot cell package and text field tree table cell i'll show you what is meant by text field a tree table cell and before that i'm going to use the uh, for tree table column function so what i'm doing is when i use this class it will create a text field when i double click on the column one so let's run the code now i am going to double click on this joseph uh, cell so it created a text field for me uh, instead of if we use something other like combo box uh, which is which i will show you later you will get a combo box instead of this text field so when i click enter nothing happened because i haven't added what to do when i commit on the edit way process so that can be done uh, either by using the java uh, scene builder in the scene builder there is an option in the code section which is the in the name section you will get actually the edit start which is used to do something uh, during the starting of the edit and edit commit and edit cancel i'm going to do that right from here so column one dot set set on commit so it uh, takes an event handler so i'm going to create a new event handler and just like that so it created a handle function and in that fa handle function we have to get the tree item which is b uh, currently being edited and that can be accessed by using even dot get tree table position which will return a, a tree table position uh, tree table position and dot get row so this will allow me to uh, get the row ID which is an integer value uh, uh, of the current editing row and table view which is the parent class uh, parent table view dot get tree item get tree item so this function is used for accessing a tree item at a particular row and the row which is being edited is accessed using this event dot get tree table position dot get row method so we got a tree item of person tree item of person person current editing person current editing person equals so that's it we got the current editing person element and next thing we want to do is to get value which is a person object and inside that the column one is used for representing name so we are actually editing the name property but one thing that we have to do is we have only defined the getter for the name property now we are actually editing it so we need a setter for the name property and that can be done here the set name property and instead of passing a simple string property i want to pass a simple string which is not a property and i am going to use the new symbol string construct uh, single string property constructor in order to construct a simple string property from a string value so it is not name property it is definitely name and that's it so current editing person uh, person dot get value dot 
set name property so after the committing of the editing process we will get the new value which is typed uh, the from the event object so event dot get new value so what will happen is when he commit the editing process when he enter the uh, after selecting something or typing something this function will be executed and we will get the tree item which is uh, which is a cell being edited and from that one which is a row being edited and from that one we will access the row and set the name value since we are working on the name column and let's run the code i have already one instance of the program running i have closed that and let's do this so I'm going to double click on Joseph. I got this Joseph Snowden. And I'm going to press enter. You can see that the name value changed. That is because we have changed the name property of that cell. So that's it guys. That's how you use the uh, text field to treble cell for making edit. And let's have a look into this package. So this is from uh, were th this is the package that contains the tree table cell and inside that we have checkbox list cell and uh, choice box list cell combo box list cell etc etc and I am going to you make use of the combo box tree table cell so you have actually know what is meant by combo box so when the user double click on that cell he will get a tree table cell so I'm going to use the combo box tree table cell and just like before for for tree table column and definitely it will take an observable list so we have to make an observable list so uh, uh, the observable list contains the uh, observable list will contain the possible values that can be selected so observable list which is definitely a string in this case list is equal to fx collection dot observable array list so we got a list and I'm going to add some possible names add um, let add these names John's so this uh, these will be the values that will be available for selection process Steve and we have Alex and we have Joseph Joseph and I'm going to add one more name genuine quarter quarter okay then the last thing I want to do is to associate this observable list with the combo cell so that's it list and I'm going to run the program I'm going to double click on this Joseph and it will create a combo box for me and when I click on this combo box I am getting this list of possible values that are applicable for uh, the uh, list of available values that can be given to the cell so that's it that's how you use the um, combo box tree table cell and one more interesting thing that is just like the combo box is the choice box choice box is still and it is choice box tree table cell and instead of combo box I'm going to use the choice box tree table cell and it will be very much similar to the combo box except it will act as a overlay or oh, as you can see it is creating this icon and when I click on this it will create a pop-up like menu so the functionality is same as before so that's it and if you want to add the editing functionality for this email column then all that you have to do is to set self factory for that and add some on commit event handler I hope you understood the basic concepts of editing a tree table cell and there are some possible uh, other values which are the which are progress tree table pro progress bar tree table cell etc etc uh, I suggest you to try all these uh, uh, all these available classes and thanks for watching this video subscribe for more cool videos